Moving on to backstage view. And uh, what I'm going to do here is go to file. And as well as save and save as open and close and things like that, it takes me straight to recent. In the old version of Office, you would actually see the, the recent files down at the bottom on the file menu. That's in 2003 and earlier. In 2007, you'd see the recent files coming off the Office button. And what you have now is you have a dedicated section for recent. What you get is you get, um, by default, the last 20 files that you've used listed. You can actually go through options. One of the options, I'm not going to go through which tab it's on, but one of the options, you can actually take that up to 50. So you can display the 50 most recently used files and they're listed um, in the order they've been used. Now, it won't put it in multiple columns, as some people uh, think it might do, what you get is you get the scroll bar. So if I uh, had more than, than 20 in that list, I just get a scroll bar and I can scroll down them. The little pin icon, if I had, for example, a timesheet that I wanted to always be there, then I can just click on the pin and it moves it up to this dedicated pin section. And I can do that with as many as I like. You could do that in 2007, uh, but from memory, it didn't have it in a dedicated pin area. It would just keep it in the appropriate uh, order, but they would they would remain in the order. So you could have your pinned documents anywhere in that list. I think it's actually better to have them all in one dedicated area. And I can just unpin uh, if I no longer want that listed. So that's your recent documents. What I can also do down here is uh, quickly access this number of recent documents and uh, it defaults to four. If I tick that, then it actually puts the four most recently used documents here. So they're actually even easier to get access to. And I can increase or decrease that number, which I think is a, a nice, neat little feature. What I'm going to do now is go to new, so file new, and I get all my templates. I'm just going to go for a blank document and click on create. So I've got a blank document. Now, for something I want to show you shortly, I'm going to go to file and then options. Here we go, file options. And I want to set in the save section, I want to make sure that the auto recover information is set to one minute, uh, which I set earlier and it remembers that. And I also want to have this ticked, keep the last auto recovered file if I close without saving. So a couple of options, a very useful options, which I'm going to show you how that works in a couple of minutes. So let's just uh, whiz out of there. I really need some text here. So if I just do the old equals rand, instead of getting the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog as you used to get in older versions, uh, what you now get is some useful text. I'm also going to go back to the file menu and go to backstage view because also in backstage view, you get this info section. And you'll notice that it's automatically jumping around from section to section or tab to tab uh, down here because it's trying to second guess what you want to do. Do you want to go to recent, which is what it offered me first, because when I clicked on file and I had no document open, it thinks I want to go and open a recent document. Of course, that's not always the case. I might want to go to uh, the open menu or the save menu or something. But <coughs> excuse me, over here, what I've got is I've got access to the properties. And again, you always had access to the properties in the, the various Office versions, but they've just tried to make it simpler. Everything's in the one place. So I'm going to do something like add an author. So the, the author, the default author there is Windows 7 Demo. That's the name of the person who's currently logged in. So I'm just going to add another author, Mike T. And I'll just either click on the file menu again, or uh, I could have hit escape to just come out of the, um, the backstage view. I want to close this document. So let's do a file and close. Do I want to save the changes? And we get a new feature. If you choose don't save, a draft version of this file will be temporarily available. 
So I'm going to show you how that works. Click on Don't Save. And usually, in most cases, and I'm even going to shut Word down. In most cases, certainly in the other Office products, that's it. Tough. It's gone. But now if I reopen Word and I go to File, under Info, I can go to Recover Draft Versions. So Manage Versions, Recover Draft Versions. And what it does is it actually shows me all the documents for the last four days because it remembers the last four days worth of documents that I have closed down without saving. So it's uh, this one here. Click on open and it opens it up. It tells me it'll be deleted in the next four days, automatically deleted in the next four days. So it suggests that I actually do a swift save as. I'm not going to save that, but uh, all you do is you do a save as and it just saves in the normal way. So what that feature does, as you can see, is we've called it the save your bacon feature. It means that if you close the document down and I did it on a new document, but it could be a document that you've already saved a number of times and you've typed in some text or you've put some information in there and then you've closed the document down without saving. So it does allow you to get it back, but it will only get it back up to the last auto save. Um, it's up to you what you set the auto save up as. I obviously set it up as one minute just for the demo.